Instagram stories surpasses Snapchat in terms of users. Susan Fowler joins Stripe. Google makes its fashion image searches look like Pinterest and more. It's Thursday, April 13th, and this is Crunch Report. How's it going, everyone? Working hard on a Thursday. Let's give you a break with some tech news. It was bound to happen and now it finally has. Instagram Stories has hit 200 million daily active users, surpassing the last count of 161 million that Snapchat announced alongside its IPO. Instagram Stories launched in August, hit 100 million dailies in October, then 150 million in January. So it's hardly slowing as it grows. Meanwhile, Instagram is getting faster at copying even Snapchat's most technologically advanced features like augmented reality stickers and Snapchat scissors with a series of global iOS and Android updates. Snapchat stock dropped 1.25% after the news that Instagram stories had eclipsed Snapchat's size. Stripe, the payment processing company, has hired Susan Fowler as editor-in-chief of its new publication, Increment. Increment features opinion pieces, expert interviews, and how-to guides targeted at an engineering audience. According to Stripe, Fowler, an engineer and author who has literally written the book on building standardized systems within software teams, met with Stripe co-founder Patrick Collision to discuss her blog and writing. That ended up leading to a discussion around what would later become the new publication. Most recently, Fowler has been in the public eye after publishing a blog post publicly accusing Uber HR of ignoring multiple reports of sexual harassment and sexism within the company. While Facebook and Snap are busy doing whatever it is they do, Google is knocking on Pinterest's door with a new feature it's calling Style Ideas. Google is able to recommend inspirational outfits based on existing images of clothing you've been browsing. It's about as clear of a response as you're going to get from Google to a now direct competitor. Think about how Google must feel though, so big and powerful and yet vulnerable to transactions that go straight from Pinterest to retailers and bypass search altogether. Google is hoping to capitalize on its work in machine learning to deliver better experiences to users, showing them not just pictures of models wearing clothes they're interested in, but an expanded display of similar items. While Google has an advantage in terms of users, Pinterest is the brand known for extracting value from images. Fight, 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 fight! The IPO window is open. It's hard to say exactly who opened it, but it is open. Yext was the next startup to step onto the public markets, a major step in the enterprise company's growth. Yext helps businesses manage their public presence on directory sites. Think optimizing SEO. The company was priced at $11 per share and is now just under $14, a good day for just about everyone involved. Yext itself made out pretty decently with at least $115.5 million raised. Earlier this year, the company was targeting pricing between $8 and $10 if that helps to put the $11 actual IPO price in context. Last thing, quickly, TechCrunch is heading to New York this May for our Disrupt Conference and Hackathon. Glossier's Emily Weiss and VP of Amazon Music, Steve Boom, and former Yankees player Derek Jeter will be there. You should too. Our early bird sale is ending tomorrow, so sign up, people. I'll be there too, and Joe will be there. It's going to be fun. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamsey. Crunch reporters every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Eastern on TechCrunch.com. Tell us find us on iTunes and on YouTube. Guys, see you tomorrow. Pew.